Devarim, Deuteronomy 3. Then we turned and went up the way to Bashan. And Og, the king of Bashan, came out against us, he and all his people, to battle at Edri. And Yahuwah said unto me, Fear him not, for I will deliver him and at all his people and at his land into your hand. And you shall do unto him as you did unto Sikhon, king of the Emarim, which dwelt at Chesban. So Yahuwah Eloheinu delivered into our hands at Og also the king of Bashan and at all his people. And we smote him until none was left to him remaining. And we took at all his cities at that time. There was not a city which we took not from them. Three score cities, all the region of Argav, the kingdom of Og in Bashan. All these cities were fenced with high walls, gates, and bars beside unwalled towns, a great many. And we utterly destroyed them, as we did unto Sihon, king of Chesban, utterly destroying the men, women, and children of every city. But all the cattle and the spoil of the cities we took for a prey to ourselves. And we took at that time out of Et the hand of the two kings of the Emarim, the land that was on this side of the Yardan, from the river of Arnan unto Mount Charman, which Charman, the Sit Donim, rather Sir, Sit Donim, call Shirian, and the Emarim call it Shainir. All the cities of the plain and all Gilead, and all Bashan, unto Kalka and Adrei, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan. For only Og, king of Bashan, remained in the remnant of Rephaim. Behold, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron. Is it not in Rabath of the children of Ammon? Nine cubits was the length thereof, and four cubits the breadth of it, after the cubit of a man. And at this land, which we possessed at that time, from Erorir, rather, from Erorir, which is by the river Arnon, and half Mount Gilad, and the cities thereof, gave I unto Re'ovim, and to the Gadim, and the rest of Gilad, and al Bashan, being the king of Og, gave I unto the half tribe of Manasseh. All the region of Argav, with al Bashan, which was killed, rather, which was called the land of Raphaim. Ya'ir, the son of Manasseh, took at all the country of Argav unto the coasts of Gershari and Ma'akatihi and called them after his own name at Bashan Chavot Ya'ir unto this day. And I gave at Gilad unto Makir and unto the Re'uvim and unto the Gadim I gave from Gilad even unto the river Arnon, half the valley, and the border, even unto the river Yavak, which is the border of the children of Ammon, the plain also, and the Yardan, and the coast thereof, from Kinorot, even unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea, under Ashdath, Hap Pika, eastward. And I commanded you at that time, saying, Yahuwah Eloheikem has given you at this land to possess it. 
ye shall pass over armed before your brethren, the children of Yashara'el, all that are meet for the war. But your women and your little ones and your cattle, for I know that ye have much cattle, shall abide in your cities which I have given you. Until Yahuwah have given rest unto your brethren as well as unto you, and until they also possess at the land which Yahuwah, Elohechem, has given them beyond the Yardin. And then shall ye return, every man unto his possession, which I have given you. And I commanded at Yahushua at that time, saying, Your eyes have seen at all that Yahuwah, Elohechem, has done unto these two kings. So shall Yahuwah do unto all the kingdoms whither you pass. Ye shall not fear them, for Yahuwah, Elohechem, he shall fight for you. And I besought El Yahuwah at that time, saying, O Adonai Yahuwah, you have begun to show at your servant, at your greatness, and at your mighty hand. For what El is there in the heavens or in the earth that can do according to your works and according to your might? I pray you, let me go over and see at the good land that is beyond the Yardin, that goodly mountain and Lebanon. But Yahuwah was wroth with me for your sakes and would not hear me. And Yahuwah said unto me, Let it suffice you. Speak no more unto me of this matter. Get you up into the top of Pekah, and lift up your eyes westward and northward and southward and eastward and behold it with your eyes. For you shall not go over, go over at this Riardin. But charge at Yahusha and encourage him and strengthen him. For he shall go over before this people, and he shall cause them to inherit at the land which you shall see. So we abode in the valley over against Be'at Peor. <laughs>